Uh, my name is Roberto Tutesco. You, some of you may know me because of the Wild Horses, <laughs> and some of you uh, may know me because of covers of magazines. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> but uh, I mostly know from my Wild Horses of Sable Island. Uh, I've been documenting them for 25 years, and uh, I just like to tell you because you're here tonight that I'm going back 25 years later in June. And uh, that's, uh, I mean, for me, it's kind of extraordinary. You know, it's a big celebration. So I'll be there for about a week. And so expect a new invitation and a, a whole new show, which is coming up uh, right after that. Uh, I want to, uh, to, to tell you a bit about why we're here. Jerry, come, come on here, please. So Jerry and I, we have met a long time ago. And uh, we became friends. And uh, Jerry and I uh, love uh, wild horses. So uh, Jerry, she's the interior designer. So she's been uh, uh, living here for uh, for some time, moving from uh, Jersey. And the reason that we're here tonight is because Fabiana and I. Where's Fabiana? Oh, she's right here. Okay. Fabiana and I and uh, our kids, we moved to Old Greenwich. So just to make it clear. Uh, I was not looking for a space somewhere. We just kind of drove by and we found this place and we thought, can Let's we do, do something together? So with Fabiana's uh, beautiful jewelry, with uh, Jerry's uh, extraordinary design uh, eye, and uh, with uh, Lynn Rosé, uh, she's not here yet, Lori. but uh, Lori uh, Bruno's uh, Lynn Rosé line of furniture, and a few other friends, and a few other people that have contributed, uh, we thought that we should do something and bring something into the community that talks about art, and talks about conservation, and talks about the future of the planet and what we can do about it, right? Mm -hmm. And we got along on that, on that grand idea on how do we inspire other people to do something really uh, that, uh, well, not that hasn't done before, but to do it right here and right now. So the space itself. Saving the planet one purchase at a time. That, that's right. So, so my daughter, who's still, well, our daughter, who is 10 years old, I was gonna put on the window, helping the planet one purchase at a time. And she said, Dad, never mind helping the planet. Why don't you just save it? So I said, saving the planet one purchase at a time, because that's what really matters, right? So we know how the planet is doing and how we're doing and the a point of the conversation is that maybe we should do something about it where every single purchase does make a difference. And of course it's not this particular place that's going to save the planet, but it's, it's the idea that if we engage many different brands to, to, to participate into, the, into this grand idea, into this platform, and, we, uh, and if you have consumers demanding uh, their $4 coffee in the morning, where one dollar goes to conservation, you get the idea. I mean, by by bringing people and brands together, you can actually uh, create something that uh, perhaps uh, will have a, a long-lasting influence. And the only reason that I'm doing all this stuff is not so much for me. Uh, I have uh, a son, uh, Theo, who's eight years old. We have a daughter. Uh, Maya, who is uh, going to be 11 soon. So what do we do with this planet and how we, how we actually act into the future and with this particular present moment matters in, in so many different ways. Um, so the space itself uh, uh, evolves on, on, a, on a few different uh, topics. First of all, it's a place for conversation. So every other uh, week or every two, three week, we're gonna have uh, somebody of some importance coming and uh, giving a, uh, uh, a uh, not a lecture, but it's uh, a talk about various subjects. Uh, we do have a lot of friends and a lot of different uh, artists and uh, uh, that would love to, to, to be part of this particular conversation. The idea is we believe that art will save the world in the end. And uh, we believe that by bringing artists into the space, you can actually invite other people and you have these particular uh, uh, conversations that are available, but not for one specific reason. Uh, before I forget, there are uh, two uh, or three or four extraordinary people that have actually uh, helped me. So Amy, 
Come here for a second, please. <laughs> Fabiana's right here. Okay. Christina. Christina's right here. Okay. And I want to 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 to. I to, feel very short compared to all the others. Yes. <laughs> okay. So without these incredible women here, we would have not made it. Okay. So I just wanted to to actually thank you so much. Yes. Oh, yeah. That's it. Oh, he's driving, by the way. Yes, he's driving. <laughs> okay, so um, what else can I tell you? Uh, I don't do, 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 Yes. So there are some some. Uh, we did a few collaborations uh, with various uh, with various uh, partners. So there are some uh, some fun uh, 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 products. On the table, you can have an I am wild bracelet. These are I am wild bracelets that are made of fishing line. And yeah, silver. with fishing they line. Say, you have a gap. So on this, as the tag says, twenty-five percent goes to conservation, right? So you must wonder, well, how does that happen? Uh, we also created a, a non-for-profit, so we are a 501c3, so that's official, So, and uh, there's no mystery in terms of where the money goes. Half goes to local charities and half to global charities. So uh, we realize that that's not going to be a significant impact. Nevertheless, if we can inspire the whole community here to do something on that can level, then we can create something. Basis? does something, then collectively, maybe everybody can Right. And uh, Jerry? This is Jerry Roper. Without her, the, uh, this particular space would not, uh, would not exist, so perhaps a few words. Jerry! Yes, Jerry! Yeah. My husband can't be here tonight because he's on a business trip to Vancouver, so his partner is here. <laughs> Fantastic. Um, but this has been a really fun adventure for me. Roberto and I met probably, I don't know, 10 years ago. Or more? More. In Crosby and, Street. Um, yeah. Crosby's like 15 and, years ago. Um, I used a lot of uh, Roberto's photographs and projects that I did, and I kind of became mesmerized by them. Rather than going to a therapist, I'd go sit in Roberto's gallery and stare at the horses and I don't know, it was really peaceful and I loved it. And our friendship has evolved and it's so much fun to be doing something with him and it's really funny that we both ended up in, or we all ended up in Greenwich together. So I want to thank you all <coughs> for, for being here mm -hmm. and for uh, loving the art. I know that some of you collected and you've been collecting it for many, many years. Uh, if you're wondering where did the money go, uh, we've been building a museum. It's a physical structure. Uh, we are building it in Bridgeport. Uh, we spent a few million dollars building it so far. It's not made of uh, anything that, uh, uh, of, uh, it's not made of containers. It's a physically, uh, beautifully uh, structured, uh, extraordinary building, and uh, we anticipate traveling around the planet with this structure it's a mobile museum. and many other ones. It's a mobile museum telling the story of the wild horses and inspiring other people to do something about wilderness in general and encouraging other photographers and artists alike for them to do something about this particular planet and about wilderness that we have to really take care of. Uh, I'm going to just close by saying only one thing. Uh, why I am wild? I am wild. I, uh, I was not looking for a cool name or for a cool thing or for something better to do. I am wild came out of uh, thin air as I was thinking about the wild horses of Sable Island Mobile Museum. By the time I was typing it and misspelling and everything else, so I had <laughs> to kind of create a shorter name. And that's the actual true story through the manipulation of different words I am wild came out and I thought oh what a cool name and here we are today so, so many the years Bruno's later. Roberto's also a poet so he <laughs> he spent a lot of time on the train. Oh by the, that's right so that's a, that's a different conversation however so you all have to come you'll back. Become, you're <laughs> going to be back for poetry night that's going to be kind of amazing and uh, uh, what was it uh, I, I lost my, if, my, my, my tonight's not the night 
you guys want to buy something, we're here, so you can come and. But I was going to say something of importance. The name. The name. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't really cool with the name. Well, it was not about buying it. it was about, oh, yes. Yes, I got it. Okay. So I am wild. I'm going to go back to I am wild, and I'm going to close by saying just one thing. I am wild is a reminder to each one of you that you are just that, and you are wild, and not we are wild collectively created all this place where we're at in time. I am wild is a reminder that, uh, uh, that we are on our own wild, and by, by being so, I'm coming to pick you up in two minutes. <laughs> I'm coming to pick you up in two minutes, okay. 8.20, perfect. Okay, I'm Bye. So Anthony Hayden Guest, do you, do you know who he is? So Anthony Hayden Guest is a, one of my closest, dearest friends, and he's a writer. He writes for Wall Street Journal for the arts section. And, uh, uh, he's arriving at the train station. He's arriving at 8.25. So. Uh, uh, well, he wrote the book, uh, The Last Party, about Studio 54, so that's oh, happening. Oh, wow. So you're going to meet him, and anyways, he's a great guy. And I'm going to go back to finishing by saying this. The idea is that we may no longer take care of external factors. It's not about us saving the whales and the cheetahs and the monkeys and the panthers and the elephants, as we've been doing it all along. The idea is that if you are part of the same system, actually, you can, as when you're supporting the, that system, you're actually indirectly supporting your own self, your own family, your kids, your neighbors, and so forth. So the, uh, the, the, the perspective of, uh, the, it's, my, it's my phone playing now. So the perspective of I am wild, it reminds you that you're part of wilderness it, itself. And by being part of the wilderness itself, you can actually do something about it. Thank you so much for being here today.